The Life of Paul Cezanne by Joseph Torres. Paul Cezanne was a French artist and post-impressionist painter whose work laid the foundation for the transition of the 19th century conception of art to a new and completely different form of artistic beauty in the 20th century. Cezanne formed the bridge between the late 19th century Impressionism and the early 20th century's Cubism. He is often credited as being the father of modern art. Cezanne was born in the southern French town of Aix-en-Provence in 1839 to the son of a wealthy banker, Louis Cezanne. Cezanne developed artistic interests at an early age, much to the dismay of his father, who wanted his son to go to law school to help manage his family's fortunes. Paul began to study painting and drawing at the École des Beaux Arts in 1856. Due to family pressures, Paul went to law school at the University of Aix-en-Provence while being enrolled at the École des Beaux Arts, where he stayed until 1861. Cezanne finally convinced his father to allow him to go to Paris to enroll at the Académie des Beaux Arts to join his childhood friend Emile Zola. However, he was rejected and enrolled at the Académie Suisse instead. Paul became depressed when he learned he was not as proficient as the other students. He left Paris after five months to return to Exxon, where he worked at his father's bank for a year before deciding to commit to his pursuit of artistic development. He then decided to return to Paris to pursue this dream. Many of Cezanne's early works in the 1860s were painted in dark tones applied with heavy fluid pigment, suggesting the moody romantic expressionism of previous generations. As you can see from Paul Cezanne's early works depicting his father and what can be assumed as the inside of his studio, the painting contains dark, heavy tones. The subject matter is melancholy and includes fantasies, dreams, religious images, and a general preoccupation with the macabre. Again, you can see the dark, heavy tones in Washing of a Corpse. This painting portrays the events inside a morgue and Via Pieta, a representation of the Biblical Virgin Mary. Cezanne's early paintings were first shown in the Salon des Refuse, when his works were rejected by officials in the Paris Salon, the official art exhibit of the Académie des Beaux Arts, the place where Cezanne was rejected to study. The Salon des Refuse was the art exhibit Napoleon III created to exhibit the works that were not shown in the Paris Salon. Many famous works of art from notable artists such as Manet, Pizarro, Courbet, and Johann Jonkin were exhibited in here, where the art was ridiculed. In 1872, Cezanne moved to Pontois, France, where he spent two years working very closely with the Impressionist painter Camille Pizarro. Pizarro provided Cezanne with the moral encouragement that the insecure Cezanne needed, and introduced him to the new Impressionist technique for rendering outdoor light. Pizarro developed a painting style that involved working outdoors, employing small touches of pure color, generally without the use of preparatory sketches or linear outlines. Through the use of light and dark and the effects of light, Pizarro was able to show the beauty of natural light and most importantly convey the painter's emotions onto the canvas. Pizarro persuaded Cezanne to lighten his colors and show him the advantages of using the broken bits of color in short brush strokes that were the trademark of the Impressionists. One result of this change in artistic philosophy was that romantic and religious subjects began to disappear from Cezanne's canvases. Additionally, the range of his palette began to be fresher, with more vibrant colors. Although he used the techniques of many of his Impressionist peers, he did not share their concern with emphasizing the objective vision presented by the light emanating from an object. Rather, his explorations emphasized the underlying structure of the objects he painted. In 1874, Cezanne returned to Paris and participated in his first Impressionist exhibitions, but his works received harsh critiques ranging from hilarity, outrage, and sarcasm. Disappointed with the reactions of the people, Cezanne isolated himself to work on his art, and he began to distance himself from the Impressionist movement, where his work started to mature. He began to move away from Impressionism to develop his own perception of visual art one based on formal structure and seeing the landscape, a portrait or a still life as a series of mass, volumes, and planes. The paintings from these later years would be perceived as the foundation of abstract art. 
Suzanne began by aiming to imitate the artists that inspired him, but realized that this was restricting. So in the 1880s, Suzanne began painting in a new and different way to challenge how viewers see light and color to view forms. Suzanne quotes, treat nature by means of the cylinder, the sphere, and the cone, with everything put in perspective, so that each side of an object or plane is directed towards a central point. The mid-1880s is a period of great significance, as his personal life is greatly affected. In 1886, a rift between Cezanne and Zola divides their close friendship when Zola writes a novel about a fallen painter who Cezanne recognizes as the basis of himself. As a result, Cezanne further isolates himself. Later that same year, Cezanne's father also dies. The death marks a definitive period of independence. At the end of the century, Cezanne experienced more troubling events such as the death of his mother. This led Cezanne to distance himself from his family and friends, so much so that many of his friends believed that he had died. Cezanne devoted his time in isolation mastering his new vision of art and was able to create his masterpieces during this time period. Thanks to various art dealers and collectors such as Gertrude Stein, Ballard, and Albert C. Barnes, Cezanne became a legendary figure in the art community. Many famous artists often gathered to bring together modernist ideas through the form of art that changed modern ways of thinking. In 1895, Cezanne's isolation slightly began to lessen due to the urging of fellow artists Pizarro, Monet, Renoir, and art dealer Ballard to show a large number of his paintings. In 1904, Cezanne was given an entire room at the Salon de Autumn to showcase his work. In 1902, Cezanne bought some land along the Chemin de Laos, where he built a studio and worked on his paintings. While painting outdoors, Cezanne fell ill due to a storm, where he eventually died in 1906. Working slowly and patiently, Cezanne developed a style that has affected almost every radical form of art in the 20th century. Cezanne's explorations of geometric simplification and optical phenomena inspired many upcoming artists such as Picasso, Brock and Metzinger to form various forms of modern art, such as Cubism and Fauvism.